So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show how to make a knob. Okay. And essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cone up. I'm gonna center my top. And what I'm gonna do is I'm literally just gonna make And you can design this however you want, but I generally would make a knob for my teapot, whatever shape this is, I generally would match that to what the body of my teapot is. So I can take this out and like make it more smooth. So you may not want this shape, something perfectly symmetrical. But you yeah. could um, do something like this, and I can always come in and level it out. Now, you could make a baby handle also. But if this is what I made, I can literally just, like, cut it off and then stick it on top of the lid for my teapot. Wait, we have to do that even if we're doing, like, a slab or a cold? Nope. But I just want to let you know there's a method to make it on the wheel if you want it perfectly symmetrical and very knob like. Now, what I'm going to make now is a spout. Okay? Now, a good pouring spout is generally a funnel. Okay? A funnel is going to be wider at the base, and then what's going to happen? It's going to get skinnier. Have you guys ever poured a two liter soda bottle? And what does it sound like? If you could try to pour very quickly. Glug, 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 glug. Ideally, we don't want the glug, 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 glug. And having it be a funnel will solve that problem. Okay, so what I'm doing is essentially I am making a baby cup. Now, is there any bottom down here? No. No. I don't need a bottom because it's not a cup. And then what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to choke it in. And this is way longer than what I would want. So I'm going to take that off. And I'm literally just going to choke it back in. Now you can decide like how severe of an angle you want. Right now, how many fingers on the inside are pulling up? One. Okay. And then I can always come back and reshape and do whatever I need to do. Now, let's say I liked it. I'm gonna trim my top. I want this to be somewhat sharp where the liquid would come out so that it would ideally like cut it. You wanna be like a 90 degree or even sharp, like more of an acute angle so that when you pour it, it cuts. If you have a rounded edge right here, it's going to hit your spout, it's gonna come down and it's gonna dribble all the way down, which is kind of annoying. Okay, so let's say I like it. I wanna use it. I cut it off. You will notice it's thick because if it got too thin, it probably wouldn't stick to my back, which is okay. So I can come in and I can cut this. I would wait till this is a little bit drier, not one I just made, but this looks dumb. Why does this look dumb? This is straight out. It's straight out. So in reality, what I would do is I would cut what I just made and I would angle it what? So that looks better. Ideally, this part you would want to match to the top where your lid would be at. So then you could use this whole container to be able to hold the fluid. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, can you, um, do you have to do this on the wheel? No. No. You can pinch something like this. Um, I have a way to pull. Like you pull handles, I have a way to do it um, to be able to pull it. The best way to make something pourable, though, is to make sure that it's essentially a funnel. 
That's why those buckets are so dirty. Because I stick my own projects on top of them? Yes. Any questions? Like and subscribe below.